Hello friends, this is Scott. I'm back down at the hobby farm. And if you remember in one of my most recent videos, the cows have been busting through the fence to get to the sweet grass on my side of the fence. So I mowed the pasture, as we saw in a previous video, it was a monumental task, but this big hole I had to patch. So the first thing I did when I was down there was patch that hole. Uh, I just grabbed a five foot section of uh, some spare fencing I had and just wrapped it up and wired it in and, and it should hold. So that looked good, but then, I started looking at the fence line, and I hadn't planned on doing anything with that today, but I'm just tired of uh, jobs being half done, and I, I need to get this uh, this grass along the fence line taken care of. Now, with a weed, or string trimmer, weed eater, you always break line, wraps around the wire. It just isn't very feasible. It's very a hard situation to try to take care of this. Now, if I had animals, they'd probably just eat it down, and I would never have to do any edging, but... But I have a, an issue with some, some grass growing around the fence line, and I need to take care of this so it looks better. So not sure exactly what I was going to do, but I just remembered a friend of mine gave me a new special tool, and I uh, decided to give it a try. Now, this special tool was given to me by a, a gal named Marilyn, a good friend of the family, and this is a Hori Hori, and I guess the brand name is Shell, but it's got serrated edge on one side, and it's got a sharper edge and a, on the other side with a little notch for, for cutting in through wire. And it's also got a little ruler on it for planting. And this is as simple as it is here. I'll give you a little demonstration of the Hori Hori. It just easily cuts through this material with the serrated edge and a piece of cake. It does take a little bit of time, but it's a, it's a good alternative and a good tool for this type of a purpose. So I'll use this tool all over the, the, the hobby farm. Uh, I'll use it a lot for planting because I can dig holes with it too. I, again, it has a ruler so I can measure the planting depth of the seeds and things like that. But right now and today, this, uh, this Hori Hori did the job on the, on the pasture grass along the fence line. Thanks, Marilyn, for this great gift. I appreciate it. And the cows liked it too, so I give them a few handfuls of, of grass. So no more temptation to come on my side of the fence, I hope. So we'll see how that goes. I show favoritism, so I've got to give both of these, these beefy boys a little bit of a snack. And they enjoyed it. Uh, they liked this like ice cream for them. The Hori Hori worked so good on the fence line with the cows that I took a look at the biggest eyesore left on the property, which is this fence line that has a lot of garbage and trash over by the tires. And there's a little building pad there that I'll probably eventually put a workshop there. But right now, as you can see, there's wood, there's chicken wire, and there's lots of grass growing up in there. So, so I hadn't planned on it, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to take care of this too today, and uh, let's get this cleaned up. So, so we started out, oh, there's, there's uh, Theo, and Theo the cat, as well as Thing, you'll see later in the video, they're becoming more and more friendly, and they're following me around the pasture. But here's a good look at all the garbage and the trash that I still have to do, as long with the, with the grass and the weeds along the fence line. I did find one snake along this fence line in the past, but I didn't see him today, so, so he must have found a new home, but... I still have to finish the fence. I've got a couple little small sections I've got to uh, patch in here by the gate, but let's just take care of this today and uh, make this place look a little bit better. So here's a look after I picked up all the scrap wood and took care of all that and used the Hori Hori to cut down all the weeds in the grass and it turned out pretty good. But I, it was amazing how much garbage was still in here. I thought I had already got most of it, but uh, yeah, there was a lot more in here. So you'll see that here in a minute, but. But uh, it's funny how just a little bit of a, of a trimming job makes everything look better. So I'm pretty happy right now with, uh, with the hobby farm. And I don't think there's any more uh, big eyesores except on the side of the house with the greenhouse that I've got to take down. Uh, that's, that's got lots of good stuff in there that I'm going to throw away. So that's for another day and another project. But you can kind of see the pile in the background. It's been growing. So I've got a significant pile of garbage. But uh, we'll, we'll start taking care of that today, too. And here's Miss Thing, and uh, she's following me around the yard, too. So the cats are really warming up, and uh, I'll do a video on the cats uh, just to show how much progress has been made with uh, making them part of the family because they're, uh, they're being really feeling really comfortable with me right now. Then I looked at another part of the fence line over by the main gate, and uh, this needs to be uh, taken care of, too. So, well, while I'm at it, I might as well take care of this, too. I didn't do the entire perimeter of the uh, of the property. I've got uh, two more sides to do, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to get the the ones that are the most visible for my for my property, and and uh, I was that's what I accomplished today. And and uh, this was the last bit that I decided to do, uh, 
And uh, here's what it looks like after I'm done. And as I march forth, you start seeing some smoke coming out of that barrel there. That's an old burn barrel that the previous owner had. And, and you're not supposed to do any open fires this time of the year. And so the burn barrel's okay, though, or a fire pit. So I decided I'm going to burn some of the wood. I'm not burning a lot of the other types of garbage, just miscellaneous types of wood. And uh, so that wasn't planned either. But I thought, oh, what the heck, I might as well, might as well burn some stuff up and First fire of the season down here, and uh, there was a little bit of a chill in the air, but it was still a beautiful day. It was probably high 70s, maybe even low 80s during the day, and at night it definitely cools down. But uh, So here's a scan around view of the pasture real quick, and looks like it's looking pretty good. So I'm, I'm pleased with the progress. But here's the pile of garbage, and as you see, there's lots of wood in here. There's plywood, there's other, you know, some types of lumber, there's sticks, there's other, you know, chicken wire and other garbage. I'm not going to mess with a lot of that. I'm just going to burn that. Whatever's uh, wood or small pieces of cardboard, I'm going to burn that up today. Now, this material, as I burned it, was pretty condensed. It wasn't, I didn't have a lot of uh, airflow through here. So, as you see, it was burning well, but it was, you know, a little bit of an air restriction. I have a cover and a lid that I can put on this to, to slow the flow, too, of air. So, I was able to burn the material down to a very usable uh, biochar. Hadn't planned on it, but Turned out pretty good after I'd uh, soaked it down with some water. It turned into some really nice biochar, some really nice chunks. So I'll show that more in a future video. But I watered it down in the evening, and then the next morning I watered it down again just to make sure, and I'll leave it in the barrel. And then I'll dump it out, and we'll take a look at it again. But here's a look from my back window, my back patio, and uh, things are looking great. So I'm, I had a great weekend, beautiful weather. Fall is here but we're having a good time down at the hobby farm. Hey, if you like what you're watching, please give me a subscription, a like, share, and follow. And I'd love to hear from you if you have a comment. Thanks for your support.